This is my home that we built ourselves by our hands, blood, sweat, and tears. And we're in Kent, Connecticut. And there's now go. This is the original sketch when I came. It took several months to evolve an idea for this wall for Sheen's museum. And this is 42, is that 46 feet, somewhere in there. And um, these pumpkin seeds are the pods that I'm making that are about this big that will kind of flow across the wall. And then this is the, the beginning of the mural is um, is that Mother Earth may be sleeping and dreaming of a world of harmony and um, flow with nature. This will have, like, these are just space holders, but the images will be images of nature and community. And um, she's dreaming, she's flying in her dreams and houses. And then it'll end with the birds flying off. And, I have, um, <clears throat> a couple weeks ago, I took this um, sketch to my friend to show her. Um, I left it in the car with the windows open all night and the, um, some, an some big animal came and ate all the pumpkin seeds off my sketch. And it, the whole thing was ripped up and pawed through and pressed into the floorboards of the car. And <clears throat> so now I'm rebuilding it and it actually, I had to do it again anyway. Like these, these are all, um, I need to like, um, I've made this, it's a little, it's not quite this, how it will be in the end, but so I need to glue these down. This is the, um, wood firing tunnel kiln, similar to a kiln in Japan and Korea about a thousand years ago, China also. And it's the kind of kiln I learned on from Shige Morioka in Wakayama. It's all fired with wood and you can see in the back there, there's seven stepped layers and um, we start in the very back and load towards the front. And my works loves the back of the kiln. The back um, four sections are usually of my work and a couple other people who love working with this clay. It's a um, relatively low temperature clay, so it fires best in the back of the kiln. This is the chimney that all the flame and smoke come out of um, from the entire kiln. And um, it creates the draft that sucks the flame and the heat from the very front all the way out. And that's what, that's what uh, contributes to the increased temperature and ultimately contributes to the um, how the clay behaves in the kiln. Um, it also carries the smoke and heat carry a whole bunch of ash with it that is part of the end of the burning of the wood. So the ash is what creates amazing different um, colors and contours and context to the uh, finished piece. This poem is written by my classmate Margaret Moorhead and um, she 
and I had many conversations about the intent of this mural. And she um, came after a couple months, she came up with this, these words, this poem, and it was like just a tweak or two. And it was like, perfect. It just summed up the total, the heart of this mural. And then our other classmate, Ann Carey, who's a translator, she translated into Japanese. And there was a number of conversations back and forth about certain words, and it was all agreed on. And that is in Japanese here. You want to see that? Yes. ここ<笑><笑> This is like the final loading today and tomorrow and the next day of this 50-foot mural that's a two-year project. So it's, kind of, it's really special to be putting this into the kiln. I feel um, when I'm making this mural, the, um, like all my family, my ancestors, this mural is like a celebration of all that love and um, what like it's a um it's a result of i mean on one level it looks like just my work or sheen the man who commissioned it and my relationship but there's a whole world of relationships that feed into this mural and make it happen and we'll see where it goes from here <laughs> <laughs> 